Hey, what's good, powerful people? This is the Power Living with Purpose podcast with David C. Henderson, and this is Midweek Motivation. All right, this Midweek Motivation is forget about the hand they were dealt, just play yours. All right, Midweek Motivation is sponsored by DCH Merch Power Living Collection. You can find that at dchmerch.com. That's dchmerch.com. All right, so forget about the hand they were dealt, just play yours. All right. A lot, so many times we see everybody comparing themselves to everyone else. And it's a good thing sometimes, but most of the time it's not because you're not the same as the person you're comparing yourself to. All right. The only pe- that's why I hate like the whole Michael Jordan, LeBron debate. Michael Jordan is a guard. LeBron is a forward. You shouldn't even be having a conversation between a guard and a forward. They're two totally different positions. Why are you even comparing the two? You should have the greatest guard of all time, the greatest guards, the greatest forwards of all time, the greatest centers. Matter of fact, you should have the greatest point guard, shooting guard, small forward, uh, power forward, and then centers. You shouldn't even be comparing people who play different positions. It's not the same. Michael Jordan was not six foot nine. Michael jo- LeBron is not six foot six. So anyway, that's just one example, you know. The but in terms of uh, like high school athletes or college athletes or little kids, don't compare the personal offense if you play defense. Don't compare the person who's built a certain way if you're not built like that. Just play your position. Just play to your strength. And so what? The coach's kid gets all the playing time. So what? That's the hand he was dealt. The hand you were dealt is that you have the the opportunity, just like all the rest of them, to play your best and to get your reps in when it's when it's your time to shine uh, in life, in business, and in, in, at your job or whatever. So and so is buddy buddy with the boss. You know, the manager likes so and so. They don't necessarily care for you as much. That's just the hand you dealt. But if you play your hand correctly, then you can still grind and work your way up because your 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 work ethic is gonna take you to the point to where that boss can get fired, that manager can get fired, and they look around and say, "All right, who's the best person we got other than that manager who who you who you didn't like and who didn't like you, but now they're gone." And now the big bosses come down and they 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 survey folks and they like yeah you know so and so and that and that answer and that person is you because you've been grinding you've been working hard and you got a good attitude and the other people like you even though the supervisor was on your back all the time and couldn't stand you and you couldn't stand them either so you know what I'm saying if the co- if you're on a team and the coach is not giving you what you feel is adequate playing time. Just keep grinding. Get out there in the in the off season. Get out there before practice or after practice, and just keep getting better. I tell you one thing that like uh, that 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 scouts and and sports reporters will say that you can see talent jump off the screen. Like when you see talent and it jumps off the screen, there's no denying. It don't even matter if a co- what a coach says or not putting you in or whatever. It doesn't matter if that that boss at work is not giving you the raise that you deserve or whatever like that, you know, um, or people that are following you on social media are not really giving you the likes and the shares and, you know what I'm saying, the, the engagement that you feel like you deserve, like you feel like you're putting out great content, but you're not getting a lot of uh, uh, engagement. You feel like you 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 putting out top level stuff. Well, just keep grinding. If you look at Mr. Beast and all the rest of them, Man, they put in years. They put in a decade. Someone put in a decade before they really blew up. Are you willing to put in a decade before you blow up? If you're not, then maybe you're not built for content creation. Maybe you're not built for it. You know, I look at my numbers sometimes. I'm like, so what? Some stuff goes good. Some stuff doesn't. Um, you know, and some stuff that does go good. I'm like, yeah, they, they like that. Oh, okay, but they don't like this. Okay, all right. You know, or whatever, but... If you're not built for the long haul, then you ain't built at all, you know? So don't worry about the hand that they were dealt, the other people that they were dealt. They got more, people were born with more connections than you. People were naturally uh, 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 more prone towards uh, getting in certain circles, certain inner circles, certain places like that. that. You know, so what? But you can still outwork them. You can outsmart them. 
and all that, and you can outlast them. All right. So if you can't, if you can't, uh, uh, if you can't, you know, um, out, um, uh, if you, if you're not in the inner circle, like I said, you can still outwork them, outthink them, and outlast them, and you will be at the top if you just stick with it. So don't worry about the hand that they were dealt. Just play your hand. Um, and, 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 and for like, for me, for example, I have a personal responsibility. I feel to, to black America as a fourth, as, as a, a future fourth generation PhD, like my great grandfather got his PhD in 1910. He was born just 20 years after slavery ended. My great grandfather got a PhD in 1910. My grandfather got a PhD in 1940. My father got a, a, a doctor of veterinary medicine in 1980. Um, I'm starting on mine next year, my PhD in integrative biosciences. Like I owe it to, I owe it to, to, uh, to black America to keep that legacy going that, that, of that, that in education in my family as a black man, you know, but if you're the first generation to even go to college in your family, it's 2023, then, Hey, you weren't, di we were dealt different. We were di uh, dealt different hands. Don't, you can't go back in time and put yourself in a different family. You can't go back in time and put yourself in a different city and, and, that you grew up in. It is what it is at this point. You know what I'm saying? If I would have came up in, in, in the hood or whatever as a first generation college student, then, hey, it's on me. I am the future uh, 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 legacy creator. It is what it is. But, you know, I'm not worried about the hand I was dealt. I can't, I can't say I came up struggling. I can't say I came up from the, started from the bottom. I started from the middle, but I'm going to go to the top with no, I'm not apologizing for the hard work that my, my ancestors put in a hundred, over a hundred years ago. I'm, the fact that I'm related to Booker T. Washington and that kind of, you know, gets me in some doors. I'm not apologizing for that. You know, that's the hand I was dealt. But if you weren't dealt certain hands, you gotta, you gotta just deal with what you dealt with, deal with what you can you know what I'm saying? But I would look like a fool out here talking about, yeah, started from the bottom, now I'm here. I started from the middle. Are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? My mom was a lawyer, dad was a doctor, I went to private school. I didn't start from no bottom. I wasn't out there in the struggle. I wasn't out there in the streets. I'd look like an idiot if I was out there talking, come up with some struggle story about, you know, growing up. Now, as an adult, as an entrepreneur, yeah, it's been hard. I've been struggling, you know, <laughs> struggling for real, for real. But, that's my choice to, to go that route. So long story short, don't worry about the hand. Other people are dealt. That ain't your hand. You do what you what you were built to do. You were built for something. You were put on this earth for something. Find your purpose. Find your passion. Anything else, you just killing time while you while you really trying to find what you were put on this earth to do. When you find what you were really put on this earth to do and what you're passionate about, that's when you're going to be successful. Because you're going to be forgetting about the hands that other people have dealt. And you're just going to focus on playing yours. This is the Midweek Motivation from Power Living With Purpose podcast with David C. Henderson. Stay powerful, my friends.